everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion, but we're going to take up two champions in this video. The first champion that we're going to take up is going to only go to rank three. And you can leave a guess if you want to guess, uh, but the next one after that one is going to be a rank four. And that one is pretty exciting. I'm very curious to see if you guys will guess that one. But anyway, uh, the first one we're going to reveal in five, four, three, two, one. Spider Man Stark in hands. You know, I just got him, right? And I had to take him up. I had to. I had a, a two to three rank up gem. And there was no way I wasn't going to take him up. So for nostalgia purposes, uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced was my first rank five, five star. Not only that, but he is also who I used in Labyrinth of Legends, primarily to uh, fully explore it. It was expensive using him because my... Uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhance was awakened, so he benefited from having a high um, health, health pool. So I would go into a fight, and if my health dropped too low, I would heal. So not only was I um, using revives, but I was also using health potions. Of course, I ran out of those and started using units, and I didn't want to wait I actually did this all in like one week. Fully explored uh, Labyrinth of Legends with primarily a rank five, five star Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, who was not the best, but he could work. Now, just imagine at that time, it took me about 20,000 units to fully explore Labyrinth of Legends with him. And of course, he couldn't do every fight. I had a rank three Iceman I went in with one time uh, because he had the immunities. I didn't have an awakened Star-Lord who was considered like the best at the time. Couldn't awaken mine. So Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, he did a lot. Not only that, but I used him a lot in Alliance War. He was considered, oh, not all that great, especially since I was running the recoil masteries and everything. They were like, no. Nah, but he finished fights so quick. And with his evading and everything, he was awesome. And I used him almost every single war. He was my favorite. Definitely an MVP for Alliance War back in the day. And when he came out as a six star, I was like, man, I want him. You know, who knows? I might still use him. Uh, he still had a use. People were using him more recently. Uh, of course, the uh, six star, I believe. Uh, in the uh, Eternity of Pain. And there was, I think, uh, uh, there was one objective for spiders, Spider-Verse. Uh, that was the uh, Karina challenges. And he was a very good option. I didn't have him. Um, I used some others. But I wanted him. I wanted him. And I just, in the last opening, got him. All right, so I had to take him up. I just had to. There was no way I could not take him up. Now, I had some others I wanted to take up, but I said, you know what? I got enough. When I take up the next champion that we're going to take up to rank four, I had over 200,000 points in the level up. And I said, let me just relax, save some for the next level up. All right, so... Anyway, that is why I took him up, mainly for nostalgia, but I also think that I'll be able to use him uh, in the future. And he's just fun. I really enjoy using him. Now, I do remember that because I used him so often, I would often run uh, just the um, double edge, not the liquid courage. That way, I didn't lose as much health because the Liquid Courage Poison debuff stays on you. And he had no way of getting rid of it. 
and he wasn't immune to it. But at least Double Edge didn't last that long, and it ended. So that's what I would do uh, back in the day. So anyway, that is why I took him up. Now, here is my latest rank four. And I'm going to give you some options that I was thinking about. And then I will show you who I took up. All right. Now, I have a three to four rank up gem from eight, uh, Act 8.2. And I'll be using that. All right. So, first candidate is Spider-Man 2099. Now, he's been at rank three for a while. And I was going to take him to rank four. He was like the best boss killer. But he was a little too good. And Kabam dropped the hammer on him. Uh, didn't change him, but they changed the uh, boss node so that he no longer was that great for boss killing. He still is pretty decent. And he is still uh, a great option if you have any node that has to um, deal with nullifying your buffs, if it punishes you in any way for buffs, consider using him. He is really good. Ebony Maw, don't worry about the degen unless you get hit with his heavy or attack into his fault or something like that. But as long as you don't do one of those things, you're not going to get degened. Same thing with Mojo. Mojo is not going to degen him because he doesn't get any buffs. So he is awesome. The uh, buffet node can't nullify what's not there. So very, very good option. And he's a great option for mystics on path two and alliance war as well. All right. So that's my first consideration. The next consideration is Nimgod. All right. So I shouldn't have to tell you guys about Nimrod. He is a mutant killer. Now, there are some mutants that he's not quite as good against, like Bishop. But I've heard that if you play him in a certain way, he's also good against Bishop. Now, I have not done this, but I'm assuming that his normal special two is not one you want to do because that'll put a shock on Bishop and you'll get wrecked. So I'm guessing that you want to do it in a different way. But I've not tried it. Uh, but other than that, he just shuts down mutants left and right. And for the current Alliance War meta, he is awesome. Okay. He's also one of the main ones they like to ban. Because prowess, the current meta um, favors these prowess champions like uh, Kitty Pride, But against Nimrod, he removes those prowesses. So people ban Nimrod, but I still want him at rank four because he's also good against non-mutants. It's not just mutants. He's just a god against the mutants, but against non-mutants, he's still really good. So definitely Nimrod is an option. The next one is going to be Big Daddy Apocalypse. So, Apocalypse is just a beast. I still use him. And a lot of times, I just keep looking at his damage as a rank three. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. If he was rank four, maybe even rank five, that would be insane. And so, he is definitely going to be going to rank four. Possibly in this video, possibly in another video. You get to choose. See if you can guess. But, you know, he also can make horsemen. But honestly, he doesn't need to uh, make horsemen at rank four. He can do it at rank three. Okay, but that rank four increases his damage and makes him a little bit more uh, tanky as well. All right. And last but not least, I keep putting them up here. It's Hitmonkey. Hitmonkey? 
So you guys already know how much I love Hitmonkey. He's fun. He's a little squishy. He is not immune to bleed and poison, but he can purify them if you do the proper rotation on him. So he is somewhat friendly. He has guaranteed crits. Okay. So he has a lot of damage that he can do. So he is a lot of fun. However, in terms of usage, I don't really use him that much. I just don't. I use him in alliance, um, in event quest, and usually for fun, you know, especially in the chapter where, you know, you have um, skill as an advantage. And I will use him in battlegrounds. He's pretty good in battlegrounds as well. All right. So those are my options. So pause the video, leave a comment, see if you know who I'm going to take up to rank four next, okay? But I'm about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Hit monkey! Had to do it, had to do it. Void, are you watching? Finally, Hit Monkey goes up to rank four. And this is one of the reasons that I'm gonna be putting this video out uh, today, Tuesday, uh, shortly after I get done, instead of tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm probably gonna have a battleground stream and everybody's gonna see Hit Monkey, if I draft him, they're gonna see that he's ranked four. So, that is why I'm putting this video out today. Hitmonkey is so much fun. So much fun. And he he was winning in Battlegrounds at rank 3. Doing crazy amounts of damage. I can only imagine the damage that he's going to be able to do at rank 4. And to be honest with you, I may take him to rank 5. He is definitely a consideration. Um, but to be fair... He's not going to rank five before Nick Fury. He's just not, okay? Um, if I didn't have a Nick Fury and there wasn't a Kingpin, I might consider him. I just might. Uh, but like I said before, um, I run the Recoil Masteries. And although he's not immune, I consider him somewhat friendly because I can shrug off both of those. And that helps out considerably with his health. And it's pretty quick to do it. Uh, someone, and I, and I always forget because I read the comments, but I don't, oh, don't always see the name. Uh, but they gave me some advice on rotation. What I was doing was I was starting the fight with a parry, medium, light, medium. And then I would dash back. Now, if they did not attack, I would go in and do a medium and get the shrug off. However, if they attacked me, that didn't happen. So it was very risky. The better way to do it is to do medium, light, parry, medium, light. That's it. Shrug right on off. And it works every single time. So that is pretty much uh, what I do now. So I shrug that off unless the input doesn't want to read my um, last swipe as a light attack, you know, my tap as a light attack. Sometimes that happens, but usually medium light, parry, medium light, done. And then I can just do medium light mediums and just rock. All right. So anyway, uh, that is Hit Monkey. Love me some monkey, that funky monkey. So coming to Battlegrounds near you, you guys will see him. If I can draft him, he's going in, if they don't ban him, uh, in Battlegrounds tomorrow. All right? So that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. What do you think about my rank up? Good times, right? Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Oh,